Welcome to another <laughs> Cooking Cheap. <laughs> Oh, ladies and gentlemen, it's so good to see you for about the fourth time this afternoon. We started this show real over good several to see times. You. Yes, yeah, it is. It's real good we're, to see We you. hope we're coming down the tube into your home even as we speak. I'm Laban Johnson. I'm Larry Bly, and I was in a pretty good mood. <laughs> <laughs> and we can see that you're crabby, too. You've probably been trying to tune in this station and had a very difficult time doing so. I don't so. feel as frisky uh -huh. as I was, to be honest with you. I'm tired. <laughs> well, let's go through all this stuff again. Well, it's pretty it's Doris it's is well, back. Well, kids yeah, yeah, right. and this is real nice, yeah. and we got some. Right. No, anyway. That's now we're we real the glad we're, the table is decorated today for the first time in a long time because our faithful assistant Doris Ford is back from She's her back. adventures. She's been to Africa, to Disneyland, and the Caribbean. Why well, didn't know they had a Disneyland in Africa? Oh yes. Well, I'll yes. be darned. What next? Mickey mm. Kenya. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so dumb. Right. Well, we yeah. also received something here from a friend of mine, Roy, over on right. Starkey Road. He won't give us his last name because <laughs> I better not uh -huh, say. That's right. But anyway, but anyway everyone yeah. knows him knows why I won't give his last name but anyway this is uh, he picked this up at a little craft show so this says Larry up there and it's got cooking cheap down here and AstroTurf uh -huh. isn't that neat yeah I think he gave it to you cause you look toady yourself oh, yeah mm-hmm Speaking Touching of that, I'd like to have a toady. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a little snort would be. Well, well let's, kidding, let's hear some of this stuff. Here's a real nice letter came in from Ms. Jack Blankenship in Grundy, Virginia, <laughs> who says, We enjoy your cooking cheap program. My husband is retired due to illness. We're very ill I right now that. ourselves. Uh, having to take an early retirement, he gets tired of not being able to work, mm. so he took up cooking. He is a very good cook. Mm. Well, boy, that's good for you, Ms. Blankenship. Thank you for sharing your recipes with him. This type of program helps him to have a better day. That does make us feel good come, that we've made somebody else happy. How's come all this seems sort of like deja vu to me? I don't oh. Well, let's see. Dear sirs, thanks for sending me your recipes. Enjoy your show very much. I'd like to know the kind of candy thermometer you use. I have had several, but none were accurate. Keep up the good work, Mrs. Gloria Thomas of Boston, Virginia. And it does oh, say yeah. Boston down Absolutely. here. Absolutely. I've heard of South Boston, but I've never heard of Boston. I'd like to know where that is. Uh, would you answer that question? It was your thermometer. Ah, uh, well, you know, what can you do? My thermometer works. Well, what kind is it? That isn't what well, they want to know. Well, I don't know what it is. It's a thermometer. <laughs> I bought it in the store. I don't always look at the name on it. It's Good grief. I'll look and find out and let you know in another week or so. It's a Sylvania. No, I don't. <laughs> don't, don't believe anything he I says. I don't know he lies, what it is. Now, right. this lady, Stephanie Zonas, wrote in and said, It's nice to see a cooking show where the cooks relax and goof off as well as get their recipes done. What I'm not show all is that? But Sarah's. I'm not oh, always oh. crazy about the recipes you use. Evidently, you aren't either. Oh, uh, good grief. Well, I'll tell you, we like everything we do generally, but, you know, we've been on the air longer than any other cooking show on television. We've been on for nine years. Is that true? And, yeah, and we've, we've had a lot of recipes, and folks, I want to tell you, it's getting harder and harder. And then she adds this cautionary note. Cautionary. Uh-oh. That means be careful. Whoa. You should pay particular attention to this, boy, because oh, I've been no. to your house. I think. Those ribs look delicious that you cook, but you should be more careful with pink desserts. Someone made something like that for a party of mine once, but no one would eat it, and I swear it came to life overnight in my refrigerator. Same thing <laughs> happened on our show. It uh, really did. No, you know what, what happened <laughs> was, <clears throat> we did that, that's the one that we did on my back uh, deck. Yeah. And remember, the whole crew went home, set it down, and I went back. I heard a bunch of noise that evening, and there was a church social going on. <laughs> it's true. I've got one more here. Send recipes for the noisy meal of Sunday and gives a date here. It was on Davina schnitzel and sauerkraut, plus those yummy, fluffy lemon pancakes that fell flat. <laughs> and they were I believe yours, I made they? those, and those were mine from Macy Rosenthal of Lynchburg, Virginia. Now, Larry, let's go. You know, we're doing this year, we're doing this whole series of shows, Larry, you know, about a good uh, meal. Yeah. And uh, a well-balanced meal. And today we're into the salads. So these are two kind of salads that you could have that maybe you haven't fixed at home before. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, I anyway, know what you're, up to. you're going to start, right? Well, I was going to start, but to be quite honest with you, well, I'm going tired. Ahead. Now, I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to do a, a viewer recipe, and it's hot sauce for lettuce or slaw. 
And so, hot sauce. Hot sauce. And Looking so, what I'm going to do sauce, is I'm going to do a little bit of uh, slaw, mm -hmm. and I'll 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 take care of that in a couple of minutes. But the first thing we have to do is we've got to get this stuff on because it's got to boil for a couple of minutes because that's the hot part. And then the easy part will be taking this, which sort of looks a little like Laban's head. Don't oh, you think? please! It does sort of look no, a little I like his head? Nah, too big. But anyway, <clears throat> you've got to take that. And we'll just. I'll tell you who it looks, like, couple looks minutes. like several people we know. So the first thing <laughs> I'm going to do is I'm going to take two eggs and break them. That's pretty exciting. Yeah. One, these have been in my car all day. They're warm. Two, these eggs have seen hundreds of miles today, but they're still fresh and still good. Three tablespoons full of vinegar. <clears throat> I just brought some apple cider vinegar. <laughs> What are you tickled about nothing, over nothing, there? Nothing, nothing, yeah, something nothing, you can't nothing. say on the air, Johnson. You shouldn't be doing it. One, <laughs> two, You'll see in a minute. three and a half, and a drop. Now, two tablespoons of sugar. Is this a, this isn't a tablespoon? Is it? it doesn't look like a tablespoon to me. What? Let's see. No, it's, no, it's a, a teaspoon. It's a three teaspoon. of those equal a tablespoon. Well, it was supposed to be three you tablespoons. You see, I yes, it's maybe true. I better pull a little more. As in. a child, I was forced <laughs> to learn the multiplication table, but I also learned the table of equivalence. So I can tell you that three teaspoons equal a tablespoon. Write that down. You heard it here, folks. Johnson, put a sock in. Oh, it. I'm trying, just trying to help you, boy. Two, that's sugar, and then two tablespoons of water. Now, what would be really sensible would be to take the bowl over to the sink. But I think that because oh, no. <laughs> my recipe is so short, I'm just trying to make it go as far as I can. One. I'll swear I'll never get the recipe done. I have a long recipe. I have a lot to do. I don't have time to. Oh, oh no. dear goodness, no. my heavens. Fritter, <laughs> what are you wearing a beeper on your? I'm so, well, I on your. Rear. I have taken up a little bit of. I'm, I'm doing a little doing surgery. Surgery now? on the side, and, and I never hurry know. Up. Oh, <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> and a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm sorry, I, I, I'm just doing the best I can. And then what you got to do is you got to uh, uh, stir it constantly. Actually, the best thing to do is beat it, and that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to beat it, and I want to make sure I don't get any of this in my eye. And now I'm going to put it on the stove, and I'm going to boil it for two minutes. Now, Laban, take it away. I'll swear there's no rest for the wicked. All right, in this pan, I have one and one half cups of granulated sugar. That's plain old white sugar. And to it, I'm going to add one cup of cider vinegar. Woo, we sure have a lot of vinegar going here Yes, today. we do. Very Making vinegar. Making my eyes hurt. And a quarter cup <laughs> of mazola for corn oil. Mazola, I used to go with her. She was a good woman. <laughs> oh, good oh, not enough one of those things no, for your safety. No, that little, that little thingy out of the cap oh, stuck on the end I of it. I thought they had done... Gosh, done I'm the job on you with the safety thing. Bly, you're going to blow us up again. A quarter cup of vegetable oil. Well, there I was go. wondering what that was. So I'm not used quarter to this cup gas range. of vegetable oil. But I like it now. Don't well, get me I'm wrong. Glad. Well, how do you have it on high without it clicking like that? You just, see, you can put it right up to here. Now, <laughs> now you back it off a little bit. Now it's beyond the... The, that little clicking is when the ignition is going on. I know on. what the I'm clicking is, I'm just now. trying to help you. I know what the clicking now, is. Now, six tablespoons of wine vinegar. Oof. One, oh, I hope I didn't show that two, lady on that glue. Three, four. I kind of forget what I'm doing. Five, six, and one more for good luck. All right, all of that goes in here now. And let's see, I gotta have some pepper. Do you have the pepper over there? No, sir. I've not seen it all day. Oh. Well, I know we had some when we start. Well, I, we'll get it in a minute. In the in the nonce. Strangest looking stuff I ever seen. I've got to have sure. some minced garlic in mm -hmm. here. Sure. So Water. this you know, that's the way to peel your garlic, is just to hit it in the little paper parts of it. Thank you. Oh. It has a magically appeared on the set. I think this is too hot. This, this recipe calls for two cloves of garlic, but this is real chintzy garlic, and so I'm using three. It's real small. And it's got to be minced up. 
But boy, I tell you, this stuff thickened up real fast. I'm going to have to put this down on warm or it's going to be a goner. Oh. Maybe what I need to do is put it on the griddle. All right. Well, well oh, oh, yeah. Well, yeah, I guess you could do that. Heat it up that way. I'm just going to set it on the griddle because it's warm there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thinking of getting on there myself. All right, now I've got all of this. This garlic goes over in here. Now, by the way, when this thing is cooked for a couple of minutes, as it has, and it's thickened as it has, then you're supposed to just, just take a little bit of margarine and just sort of dot it with margarine, it says. This margarine's been in my car all day, and it, it's not doing anything much. It's gone. Now, wait a minute. I've got to have some pepper in here. Soft. Uh, there we go. About a half a teaspoon of pepper. And now, what you have to do is you have to bring this mixture I'm doing to a boil and then let it cool off. And this is going to be the dressing for my salad. And when after it boils, the sugar will melt and everything. Now, over here in this large pan, I have a one-pound package, a big sack of mixed vegetables. They're mm. all in, and they're thawing out. Awful. They're just about completely thawed out. And now I'm going to add some more stuff to it uh, that will be real delicious. One of them is this lovely cuke, if I can ever get it peeled. What? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. <clears throat> Shoot. I just uh, dipped my finger down in this, tried it, and uh -huh. it's hot. strange. Or isn't it real hot? No, Did I didn't burn say yourself? it was hot. I said it's strange. Oh. Are you sure to, you uh, put everything in? Well, yeah. <clears throat> two eggs, three tablespoons of vinegar, two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of water, half teaspoon of salt, and a little bit of margarine. Mm -hmm. Now you. Well, I don't want to taste it yet. I want to get the full force and view of it. You will. I Doris, do we have a, a, a little teaspoon over there that I could have? That's strange. Well, we'll see. Well, we'll, we'll see. see. We'll see. We'll see. Now, <clears throat> this is supposed to be two medium-sized cukes, and I couldn't find any in the grocery store, so I had to get one big one. While he's doing that, I'm just going to take a cabbage head, no offense, hmm. and uh, I'm going to just start pieces. shredding that so that we have something to put this delicious, no, no, this delicious sauce over top of when I get finished with it here in a minute. And in the meantime, I'm working on this cucumber. <laughs> and I'm going to work it on a cucumber. I'm going to pull this, all these seeds out of it with a spoon. Seed it. Because we don't need seeds in our fine salad. Well, now take your time because I've done well, my I'm entire sorry. recipe. <laughs> well, don't Would, expect me to fill anything this afternoon. Well, I'll give you something else to do. No, no, no. I got, uh, I've got right, to shred now, my cabbage. Now, what you have to do with this, and don't cut yourself. <laughs> that would be terrible to cut yourself, Larry. Yeah, it sure would. He's just done it today, ladies and gentlemen. Badly, badly, badly. He received a vicious cut to the thigh. <laughs> well, I don't think we ought to be talking about it. You know, while he's doing that, I should tell you that at home, when I'm doing, when I'm shredding cabbage, I don't shred it this way anymore. Well, because it, it takes too much time. I put it in my fine uh, blender or preferably in my food processor and just go boom, boom, and that's it. Well, that's just because you've become so affluent. Well, I don't think now, it has anything most to do with affluence. I've always had money, but I never had this TV show until eight years ago. Now I don't have any money. And now, I'm you know, this. a lot of people living out there in retirement homes and in prisons and other things <laughs> can't afford a food processor. Well, I tell you what, you ought to save up for one. They're real good. They'll save you a lot of time, and you don't have to do this, I can tell you that. They are really nice, though. You have one. Don't stand there and act like you have one. And I tell you, if you do have one, you just hit it very. You don't want to do a lot because if you overprocess it, this stuff gets yeah, real. Yeah, but that woman out goofy. there in San Quentin Horrible. doesn't have one. Yeah, well, the lady that wrote us from San Quentin, or where she was using a <laughs> California. I think she was using a wire and something. I don't know what, but anyway. 
Sure. All right, now tough to I've do got this. two small cukes or two medium sized cukes and now I'm going to the peppers. I think this stuff is going down my shirt. And let me rip mm. the seeds. Is it 10 minutes, Jim? Holy cow. <laughs> you close, Levin? <laughs> no. no. <laughs> well, you can't blame I'm me. I'm doing the best I can, Your Honor. <laughs> Now, well, I'm now that's up real a green pretty. Pepper. Is that what you're doing? Well, I'm trying. Well, now isn't that just lovely? Now my my sauce over here has bowed. Woo! Boy, that'll clear out your sinuses in a hurry. Whew, boy, it sure will. Mm. I will put a little salt in this, just to just to salt it just up a little tiny bit, and just kind of mix it around. That's the only thing that goes in there. That lovely. It's real pretty. And just shred it up some just plain old cabbage. There it is. I this hope this stuff doesn't burn, although it couldn't hurt it. In my opinion. Well now Larry, give give it a try. I mean you're gonna hurt Teresa of Rustburg well, I didn't a lot. say her name on the air until just now. She didn't know who oh. she was. It, oh yes, it's much better than it was. Well you no, know, it's interesting. I think it will be good over over uh, cabbage. Well, you hope. We're going to have to eat it anyway. Well, speak for yourself. <laughs> uh, here, Bly, you can help me. You don't have anything to do. Uh, help you? Yeah, would what do you, you want me uh, to help you with? chop two onions for me? <laughs> now, all of a sudden, I'm his big pal. Huh. Well, no, I didn't. it has nothing to do with social relationships. <laughs> it has to do with getting this mess ready so we can eat it on the air. I don't believe I've ever had to pull him out of one before. Well, it's all this cutting. Do, do I have to chop it up? Uh -huh. Real fine chop? Chop, yeah. Chop, chop. All right. <laughs> it's mighty quiet out here when you're dying, I tell you. It sure <laughs> is. Oh, no, this is just awful. Everybody's just real giggly until we hit a bad spot on this show, and then all of a sudden the camera people leave. Oh, I'm trying to do it now like they do on TV. Well, believe me, <laughs> believe me, you're not. <laughs> Don't worry about it. You know how they. How I'm they being very it. careful because I'm not done well in the cutting department today. So I'm just being real careful. Just real careful. All right. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm going to put this little oil thing. And, and you know, we'll get three million people writing in. Don't pick up stuff with your knife that way. Why? There's know. something wrong with that? You know how upset people get. And here's this red pepper that costs so much money. People get huffy over it. Can you believe anything? it costs what? so much to get one of the, these peppers? Are now they expensive now? 99 cents. I for one pepper? For, for one pepper. I thought this was supposed to be a cheap recipe. Well, I did too. Now listen to them out there snoring in the back. <laughs> I'm sorry, have you ever seen anybody cut up a pepper before? And to top it all off, Dennis up there has come down with cyanide <laughs> or something. I don't know, there's something wrong with the sinuses. Gosh, this pepper has got seeds. Well, would you that, stop throwing the seeds Well, I'm off sorry. The they're not even your pants. What are you worried about? <laughs> he was telling you. You're right. I forgot. They belong to somebody else. And we won't tell you and how. We won't tell you how we got <laughs> them. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty bad uh -huh. when the camera people are funnier than the town. <laughs> mm. I don't know who he is. Get him off the uh, set, all right? <laughs> oh, what? Recipe. recipe? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's yes. show how this stuff is made. Oh, wait a minute. I can't, I can't chop and read at the same uh, time. We're going to have to learn. Oh, we'll have to. All there right. you go. The mixed vegetable salads, one and a half cups of sugar, a cup of vinegar, one quarter cup of oil, six tablespoons of wine vinegar, half a teaspoon of pepper, two cloves of garlic, minced. Chopped One dozen. large bag of frozen mixed vegetables, slightly cooked, two cukes sliced, two medium onions chopped, one green pepper chopped, and one red pepper chopped. Chopped, Johnson. Chopped. He's right. He couldn't read and chop at the same time. Now, the hot sauce for lettuce is slaw, sent in by Teresa, whose last name, gratefully for me, of Rustburg, Virginia, with two eggs, two tablespoons of vinegar, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of water, a half teaspoon of salt, three tablespoons of margarine, and I got to tell you, that's a, a mighty little bit of stuff, and <laughs> it's just amazing that it's not more to it than it is. What? Optinal. Yes, the margarine is optinal. optinal. Did they copy that, Ryan? 
Let no, I had it spelled right you... on, on, the, on the thing. Well, but you got my name spelled wrong. Well, I know, B-L-I-G-H, isn't that right? Mm. Yeah. Now here's all this onion. Where do you want it? Over I want to get rid of bowl. it. It's starting to make me cry. I can't. Look a... at this fine chopping board that. Uh, here, put it over in here. We have now. Isn't that beautiful? Mm -hmm. All those. That's an awful lot of onions, lady. Yeah, it sure is, isn't it? Okay, that's great. It's plenty. Thank you. And I'm still doing this red pepper. Oh, old Dobbin is over there patting his foot again. Let me see if I can hurry here just a little bit. I'm almost at the end with this one red pepper, and then we'll <laughs> dress this salad. Are you ready to dress your slaw, Blah? The pepper that went on forever. <laughs> uh, let's uh, read the, the letter. Why oh, don't we do that while we're waiting for Laban to finish chopping uh, this fine red. <laughs> everywhere. It's going everywhere. Here it comes. <laughs> Great. We Cougar have had Mooga. a terrible accident here on the set. Wait a minute. She was bringing in a desiccated pig. <laughs> this pig has been lost for since Hector was a pup. Look at that. That rubber pig. It's got hard. It's so old. Let me throw it over here. Well, read the letter to us, Bly, while I... Dear guys, my husband has gotten so big that all of the guys down at the plant called him baby beef. <laughs> <laughs> Another dumb letter. Could you wish, work in some beef recipes soon so Juan will get the idea? Marguerite Toro uh -huh. of Tijuana, Mexico. Are we just getting us on a skip? Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's Mexico. a cable system oh, out of San stuff. Diego. All right, okay. Well, are we going to do that? Yeah, we'll do beef recipes. Are we going to do beef recipes? Mm -hmm. I hadn't checked. Oh, yes, next week's show is called What's Your Beef? Yeah, we're going to do a chuck bake and a, a party mini balls, meatballs. All right, now you're supposed to let this dressing cool off, but uh, <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and dump it in here all. Yeah! I would have thought it had been cooled off by now, wouldn't you? <laughs> well, now, <laughs> dress your slaw. Oh, oh, excuse me, excuse me. Ooh, I, just well, I around. thought I would just add mine at the last minute. I didn't want to ruin this fine <laughs> slaw. Okay. Here it goes. Well, now, it's real glumpy looking, boys and girls, but that's the way it's supposed to be. It's supposed to get real thick. Well, see, now, I made mine up, since I'm practically perfect, I made mine up in advance last night. And here it is, perfect. all all marinated and everything, and it looks delicious, so I can't wait to get over here to the table and try some Practically of it. perfect, huh? Practically. Oh, me. Is it over yet? <laughs> Oh, well, it smells real good, and it's so colorful. For those of you that have just recently purchased color television, it's real lovely. And here, let me give you some of that. It's just real fine. Well, slop it on the table, too. Oh, well, I can't help it. You're using Look a spoon that. the size of his Doris head. brought some fine things. Well, All right, well, let's try and see how it. it is. Well, let's see how it is. What do you think? Mm-hmm. It is tasty. Do you like it, really? Mm -hmm. Maybe it's just something I, I ate earlier. I sort of have some kind of metallic no, taste that's in real my mouth. Good. I don't know what it is. Hmm, this is real good. I like this. Very colorful, real pretty. A lovely presentation. It really is. Very lovely. Mm -hmm. Well, Teresa, you've come through for us after all. I don't know. Maybe it was just something on my finger. Oh, boy. Bo these both are good. I'm not sure. Matter of fact, I would serve these at my home if you came to my home. Or Larry would well, serve them at his home that. if you came to his home, which is located at 4... No, I don't <laughs> think we'd better be putting the address up, Laban, just because they gave the address of yours in that newspaper article yesterday and told the color of it, what it looked like, and what street it was on. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. Well, this is not bad at all. In fact, it's quite delightful. And I think that next week it's going to be even better, I hope. We sure have had a good time seeing you, and please make it at your home. Bye. Bye.